Have you ever made a cocktail named after your own YouTube username? I haven't. But Bush, Bush Bear has. Bush Bear. He has. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Bush Bear Cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Bush Bear. I think that's YouTube. It's also garnishbar.com. People have been asking me. I've been getting recipes submitted all week. Are you going to do my cocktail? And they keep sending me emails with a cocktail. No matter how many times I push the garnish bar thing as priority, uh, I thought it said it in the intro. I guess the intros are different now, so I guess I'll just repeat it. If you publish it on bar garnishbar.com, you'll have a faster, easier chance of getting it on the show quicker until at least the end of summer, but it's the people have been submitting, so it might go on this way. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out, I think. This cocktail is going to be an ounce and a half of apple pucker. I'm running low. There's an ounce and a half there, but this is sour apple pucker. We have an apple schnapps, but that's not a pucker. Pucker to me makes your mouth do that, right? So it's going to be sour. sour. Yeah, it's going to be sour. Apple so, schnapps isn't sour? No, it's apple, and it's red, which would defeat the purpose of this cocktail being, I'm guessing, green. So, because, ooh, because all of our cocktails this week are going to be green and with soda, we're not shaking anything because that makes a big old mess. And I'm not a big fan of big old mess. Again, we're uh, you streaming on, well, you stream. I think we've had a total, I don't know how that counts, 22 uniques, I'm guessing, 10 or so users watching at the same time. So that's pretty impressive since it's our first time doing this and it's not really been promoted. I Twittered it and I put it on Facebook and YouTube's post area, but I don't really know what that means. So, it's unfortunately looks very similar to yesterday's cocktail, although... No, yesterday's was greener. Was it? Look. Oh, yeah, it's right there. This one had well, a lot... maybe not. This one, I think it, it had a lot more fizz to it. The pucker must... It reacts a little differently, so it, it, it kind of burns out and it makes a, a ton of fizzy, fizzy Great. fizzes. I'm never going to be able to tell which is which when I do the pictures. Oh, yeah, you will. This one says Bacardi 8 on the glass. Oh, yeah, like I'm going to remember that. As long as we put the glass the right way. So, Bush Bear. Bush Bear, not Bush Beer. That's like something completely different. You know what? I really like Sour Apple Pucker. Not by itself. Not a, not a fan of it by itself. But when you put it in a drink, it gives a great aroma. And this looks like a sour Granny Smith apple. That's sour, right? Granny Smith? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's awesome. It's got like a brown sugar flavor to it. It's like apple and brown sugar. I don't know why. Like right away, initial attack, huge. Um, I don't even want to say sour. It's like a sweet, sour, brown sugar, apple explosion in your mouth. It's just like an apple just literally blew up all over your mouth. But it has to be a Granny Smith, I guess, because it has, it does have some of the, uh, a, like a red delicious flavor, but the finish has a, a, a light Granny Smith apple or sour apple taste to it. Overall, considering how much sour apple or sour pucker is typically super sour, this is like on a mild scale compared to that. So overall, I'd say if you're afraid of sour apple pucker in a lot of cocktails, especially those martinis that are like an ounce or an ounce and a half of sour apple apple pucker and like a little bit of something else that's when you that's kind of it gets on the more of the sour bitter scale this is just just over the hump where if the hump was not anything and this is sweet it's on the sour side uh, very easy to make you can make this at home this is our fountain mist it's a Mountain Dew alternative from um, soda stream if you have Mountain Dew you can use that if you have soda stream and you have this you're you're good. We've already used this much this week, so you're you're on uh, you're on your way to a highly caffeinated brain. Question of the day. We didn't get anything. I need a good question. I want something that's completely out of left field. What is your favorite sport? What's that sport that Don and they play? That's that's not really a sport, but uh, washers. The, huh? 
Oh. Where well, they the hit the little board? ball on the ground, and it goes through the little hoops. Oh, croquet? Croquet, if that's a sport. I'm talking, what's your favorite sport? I would rather play croquet than baseball, because I suck at baseball, although I'm pretty bad at croquet as well. Um, hockey. I like to be goalie in hockey because I like to get hit by stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only position I'm ever good at because I don't have to move. So, what is your favorite sport? I don't care what country you're in. You must have a sport, even if it's chasing goats down in, on glaciers. If that's the sport, list it out. If it has a name, put it in there. That's it. Thank you, Bush Beer, for your Bush Bear recipe. Mountain Dew. EverydayDrinkers.tv. You stream. Oh, I'm getting caffeine shakes. And we're teaching you how to drink.